Hello, welcome to my channel. Hope you're all feeling strong and well. It's not the rolling hills of Yorkshire behind me. No, it's Tenerife. I'm in Tenerife for a little holiday, getting away from all that wind and rain back in West Yorkshire in the UK. So I hope the weather is getting better because I'll be going back in a few days. I'm here today to talk to you about, and I'm really glad that you're with me because I would be all by myself otherwise. Uh, I'm here to talk to you about my vlogging setup and actually a little bit about my channel and where that's been going lately. So for those who view my channel um, regularly, thank you for viewing, you'll know that I've been using the GoPro Hero uh, system of cameras for quite a few years now, right back to the GoPro Hero 5. And I've never been really entirely happy with the performance of all the glitches. And then the media mod, which I thought was gonna be fantastic, never has been. And I must have had about five of them. They all eventually fail. The connection to the microphone cable always fails and even the connection to the camera fails, to be honest. So they've been really rubbish, but not much choice, not much better out there, but that has changed. There's a nice breeze, a nice warm breeze. We've got wind surfers out there. So good to be here in Tenerife in the warm weather. So yeah, on the vlogging camera market, there's been a few changes. A couple of cameras by the same company, DJI, and they've been out a while, but there's been uh, some firmware updates, which makes these cameras really attractive and uh, I've bought two of them and I'm just wondering which one is going to win. We are recording on the Action 4 right now and this is just what GoPro should be. And uh, I'm really enjoying using it. It's just like the GoPro, only it all works. And um, we don't have the, uh, the extra gubbins around the camera, uh, which I attached my expensive Rode wireless mics to I even bought the wireless mic pro which is a fantastic system i'm probably not going to need it because as you can see here i've got the dji um, mic 2 on here which connects to the action 4. you can't actually buy this microphone separately yet but i'm sure that will come and these two combined are an amazing system it's tiny tiny with brilliant audio now just as a side note we're in February right now. Doesn't look like it, does it, with all this sunshine? <laughs> um, just as a side note, it's gonna be interesting in September when GoPro usually bring out their new uh, camera. It's gonna be interesting what they bring to the table. So I'm just coming away from the sea breeze now. It's a lot quieter here. Walking into the, uh, into the center. I'll have a little look around. Bit of public vlogging. It's a long time since I've done that. <laughs> so yeah, vlogging, is it still a thing? Well, hopefully it is for me because uh, the recent hindrances of the GoPro and uh, trying to find a decent vlogging system that doesn't let me down. There's nothing worse than getting home after a day's recording and finding out the microphones let you down, the cameras let you down in some way so frustrating it really has hindered my uh, little vlogging videos like this so i've gotten more into the wildlife but uh, with these two cameras that have come out uh, this could all be changing so just to let you know this vlog is going to span a few days just over the week that i'm here in tenerife and the reason i'm spanning it over a few days is just so that you can see me in full holiday mode and wearing a few cheesy shirts without the hat so it's the Action 4, the DJI Action 4, and the DJI, let me get this right, the DJI Pocket 3, DJI Pocket 3. They're the two cameras that I've been attracted to, and um, I know they've been around for a while, but I've gone off looking for cameras, just uh, realized that I've got to put up with the GoPro setup, and uh, nearly missed these two. So I did own the uh, Pocket 2, but I wasn't impressed with it. The Pocket 3 uh, seems to have a lot more features and has been improved so much. So I have got that with me. Uh, we're not recording on that right now. I'm going to record on that tomorrow. I'll let you know when we switched over. You'll know because I've switched shirt. So this is, of course, my first impressions of these two cameras because I've just got them. So we're not going into the specs or anything like that. And there's lots of brilliant videos about that, which I did look up uh, before I purchased, before I came out and uh, purchased these two cameras. So yeah, first impressions. And uh, in short, first impressions is liberating. Uh, this camera that I'm looking at, the Action 4, uh, is just as it is out of the box. There's no uh, little bits and bats, wires hanging out of it, waiting to disconnect and let me down. 
So I've got to say, I'm really enjoying walking around with this little tiny camera and I'm gonna attempt to do a little bit of uh, public vlogging amongst the people because I believe that it's so small, no one's even gonna notice. And you do get a little bit paranoid walking along talking into a camera. We're on the Action 4 and um, I'm using this um, wireless microphone that comes with the uh, Pocket 3. It doesn't come with the Action 4 yet, you can't buy it separate. And it's this combination that really I, I think we'll be waiting for because uh, the Action 4 and this wireless microphone are a brilliant combination. So I can't wait to see that come out being able to be bought separately or, uh, or with this camera. So I bought the combo the Action 4 combo, and I'm really glad that I did. You get a, a nice selfie stick, uh, telescopic, it's brilliant. I'll show you some uh, footage of that. It's really long, so you can get some really good shots. I'm not gonna extend it now, but uh, well, yes, I will do. So that's, uh, ah, where am I? I'm right down here. Yeah, so <laughs> it's really, it's really long. Get you back down here. So it's a really long uh, selfie stick that comes with it, with a little lanyard, and it's got the quick release on top, for the Action 4 and then you get the camera as well. And it also came with three batteries and a charging case, which you can also use to charge up other devices. And that's really slim. Now, another first impression is that uh, you can see the readout for the wireless microphone on the front facing screen and the back. So as I'm talking to the camera now, I can be sure that I'm actually connected. And when the camera goes off and you turn it back on for your next take, you only have to wait three or four seconds before the wireless microphone connects. And like I say, you can actually see that it's connected on the front or the back. So the battery life seems really good on this camera. I've been letting it turn off just automatically in between shots. Been knocking about around uh, Tenerife for about two hours and I'm still on the first battery and I've got half the battery left. Battery life seems good. So we had a look at the DJI Action 4, twinned up with the wireless microphone, DJI Mic 2. And you can't get these two together right now, unfortunately, but I'm sure you will be able to do that soon. Will GoPro come out with a direct connection to a wireless microphone without a receiver having to be attached to their camera? That'll be interesting, and I'm guessing that'll be around September time. But this setup right now, GoPro could be a little bit late to that party. This setup is absolutely amazing. I'm going to switch to the uh, DJI Pocket 3 when I change shirt <laughs> and we'll have a look at that. But this setup, I've got to say, is brilliant. Another little thing, uh, first impression is when I turn this microphone off, you get a vibration. So I don't even have to look to see if it's actually gone off. And when I turn it on, I get a vibration as well. All these little things are the little tweaks that make life so much easier when vlogging like this. So let's, uh, let's change shirt and change camera. Okay, so I've changed the shirt and I've changed the camera, of course. Just bought it, this is my first impression. I know these cameras have been around a while, but with the firmware updates, they've become more attractive, these two cameras. And that's what this vlog is all about, of course. And uh, I've just got to say off the bat that uh, first impressions using this uh, Osmo with the gimbal. It's a whole lot more fragile feeling. Uh, the build quality is, is great, but uh, it's just that gimbal on top, walking around here, putting things in and out of your pocket. And uh, yeah, just the feeling that even if you dropped it, uh, so that's a first impression, just switching the thing on and walking along here. But it's a really hot day today. Yesterday was a little bit cooler, but it's hot today, so we've got the hat. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna have a walk around and just really see if I can, uh, see if I can suss out uh, which camera I'm gonna choose at the end of all this uh, for, for my vlogging. Will I keep both of them? I know they're both fantastic cameras. This with the one inch sensor uh, has a lot to offer. But um, I've just tried that new feature on the, uh, with the firmware update on this where you can cancel the recording. So if you've sort of fluffed your, your, your take, you can just hold down on the record button while it's recording and a little circle comes up and it deletes that recording. So that saves uh, on having uh, wasted uh, footage on your SD card when you come back to your computer. So it's pretty handy that, and I like that feature. So let me just tell you what comes with the Creator Combo Pack, which I bought for this as well. Um, you get a little, uh, tiny little tripod, mini tripod at the bottom of the extension battery. You get another battery 
smaller one and uh, you of course get the camera. Um, what else do you get? Um, so that's like two batteries you get. Um, you also get the, the little holder, which is, to be honest, a bit of a faff, that little holder. Got it in my pocket now. You all know what it looks like, but it's a right faff getting that in and out. And to be honest, when it's in it, do I feel like it's really protected? I don't really. And uh, inside that, you can put uh, a couple of, um, you can put a, a filter and a wide angle lens. It comes with a little wide angle lens, which I'm not using because that also is a pain in the ass when you switch the camera off and the gimbal shuts away it can't shut away with that on and there's no way i'm taking that on and off all the time Hello. Hola. <laughs> so i've just put a box around my face tapped the screen so it's on active track and what I've noticed is it's losing, it's just lost me now, just at that point there, going back and forth. So I'll press the screen again on my old face, and there it is, it's tracking what should be my old face. It's still got me, but just as the sun comes onto me there, it's lost me. And it seems to do that every time. So let's just try it one more time. Box around my face, swinging this way. and uh, the box has disappeared. A uh, really good feature, the tracking active track, but I feel that it's not really working that well. So yeah, not really impressed with the active track there. Um, I'll experiment with it a little bit later on, uh, give it another chance. But uh, I did forget to say another thing that comes in the uh, combo box for this uh, creator combo that I got is a, a carry case and it's a very handy actual carry case makes it nice and compact so yeah you do feel like uh, it's been thought of as a real creator's kit with all them bits and bats that are in there so the build quality of it is great it feels very robust uh, the handles are great and the way they uh, come off is nice and easy with the little buttons that uh, disconnect them and connect them we're using the DJI Mic 2 which also comes <laughs> see I forgot to say that as well that also comes with the creator combo of course that's the only way to get this uh, microphone on its own so this comes with the combo the creator combo as well it is a very small package that you can put in your pocket hence it's called the uh, pocket 3 and definitely a small powerful package let's put the box around the face <laughs> this tracking no not impressed really it's actually lost me already. I, uh, yeah, let's try it again. Box is round face. <laughs> and it's not that it's trying to track a face. It just tracks whatever you tap on the screen. And it's lost me already. The, uh, hang on just one moment, rewind. I've been doing it all wrong. It's a double tap. <laughs> I, bet, I bet you've been screaming at the screen, some of you that own one of these. It's a double tap. It goes green, the box goes green, and now it's on the active track, and it's actually tracking me absolutely perfect. Of course it is. So the active track is, is okay. Double tap, don't just hold. It, when you hold, is that exposure? I don't know what that is, but um, <laughs> double tap and I've got the, the green box is still there and it's tracking my old face brilliantly. So yeah, active track is good. Now, the elephant in the room is, for me, is the fragility of this camera. The moving parts, the gimbal, um, the little screen that you switch back and forth to switch it on and off, they're all extra things that can go wrong. They do feel very sturdy. Got to say, they feel very sturdy, but uh, I'm not too sure about the gimbal in this sort of environment and stuff like that. I just want something more sturdy. But uh, I just did a little gimbal shot of a little rock pool and I uh, active tracked the sun as I rose it up. And you could not do that with an action camera. So the creativity uh, is definitely, there's more creativity built into this type of camera. This camera, the uh, DJI Pocket 3, is of course going to be better in low light with its one inch sensor. And you can find a lot of that online, so I'm not gonna even demonstrate that. I'll just take it as a given that it is a lot better in low light. So it's a bit of a hike back to the hotel, I'm nearly there. And I find myself pondering which camera I'm going to keep. 
And the thing is, the one that I'm going to keep, the combination that I'm going to keep, doesn't even exist yet, but I'm sure it will soon. And that is the Action 4, DJI Action 4, and this microphone, the wireless microphone DJI Mic 2. Perfect setup for me. This uh, DJI Pocket 3, which we're recording on now, and the active track is working brilliantly. Even with the sunshine behind me like that, it hasn't lost my face, which is brilliant. It is a brilliant camera, brilliant combination. The Creator Combo comes with this microphone. You will not get that, can't stress that enough right now. You will not get that on its own, this microphone. So yeah, if I am going to sell one of these, it's going to be the DJI Pocket 3, but I might just keep it. <laughs> so I do quite like it. The creative possibilities uh, are far more with, with the uh, Pocket 3. But if I was to tell one of them, it definitely would be this one, but I would be keeping the microphone. So that's about it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you're thinking of getting either of these two cameras, I hope this video has helped. If you own both, which one do you favor? Uh, let me know in the comments section below. Do you know what? I found out that I've really missed creating these simple vlogs using these two really versatile setups. So it's been a breath of fresh air, really. I don't know where I'll be in the next one, but what I do know is I want you guys with me and I will be using one of these two setups. I've got to choose one. So until the next one, bye.